cool. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I got uh, one of our clients, Ro, here. And I uh, just want to bring him on and showcase his results that we got with Executive Vantage. So, Ro, why don't you just tell everyone who you are, what you do, and you know where you're at before you started working with us at Executive Vantage? Yeah, so my name's Ro Kuo. Um, I run a boutique marketing agency um, based in Boston, USA. Um, we basically help realtors and brokerages um, to pretty much drive in more transactions um, to increase their bottom line. Um, that's pretty much um, what we do. That's the only thing we focus on. We don't build websites. We don't post on their social media. We got one offer, one deliverable, and that's pretty much it. Awesome, man. Awesome. And so I guess like, since you mentioned that, like going down to focusing on that one thing. So how did we really help you simplify the business? Cause I know you're offering a bunch of different things to a bunch of different types of clients. And so how do we really help you simplify your business and even maybe even your personal life? Like, what does that look, what does that look like? That's a great question, actually. So it's really that. So in the course, you guys have the scientific approach, right? Which is huge, right? I've never seen it anywhere else. So with that, it's just that we, we take that, that principle because it's a core principle and it's a situation where we create our ideal clients like profile. So we know exactly how I, our ideal clients look and we know who to say yes to and who to say no to, right? We know what we have to offer. And if what we have to offer does not fit that specific client, it's, it's no. So with that, we, we took that principle, we applied it, and things have been crazy ever since. So right now, we, we're getting about 120 to 200 appointments per month. Um, we got one full-time rep, one part-time um, appointment setter, and we're also running um, ads as well. Um, and right now, we're at about 17.5K per month, um, which is still nothing to us for, what, for where we want to get to which is the hundred K standard. You already know, but you, you, you know, you met me back when I was at literally like one to three K per month. So <laughs> you, you know, the journey. So the principle itself, which is the, the scientific approach, which is your ideal client down in one offer. That's really like changed the game for us mm. entirely. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like that's where a lot of the leverage comes from. Cause now, you know, like you said, who to say yes to hit, who to say no to, cause most entrepreneurs, when they first get into business, they start taking on any client that will pay them money. They'll start doing any work that the client would want them to do, posting on social media, posting on their Instagram. And like, when you really focus on that, you're able to create some like really strong leverage points and also with your time, but also with the energy you put into the client and getting them the results. Right. And so I know we really dialed that in. So what about the, the actual systems that we help you integrate? Because I know a lot of the stuff like yours is pretty systematized, dialed in. So how do we help you systematize and like integrate those systems and process into your business? And like, how has that really helped you scale the business or even just save you time? Like, what has that done for you? Yeah, that approach as well. So you guys pretty much um, opened my, my eyes in, in terms of the assembly line. So the assembly line approach, that's pretty much how we streamlined it. So it's just that thing where you want to get to seven figures or even multiple six figures, you got to keep things as simple as you possibly can, right? Like complexity is like an anchor in any business. So with that, we, we have the assembly line approach and it's literally just having the pipeline, right? A client comes in, schedules an appointment, our trusted advisor takes the appointment. If it's a good fit, we enroll them. And from there, the fulfillment team on the back end delivers the service. And that's it. And we check in. Obviously, we, we manage them with biweekly check-in calls and support, back-end support. But that's literally the assembly line, right? So as simple as possible, literally, like, what is it? Four steps, uh, <laughs> like, right through. And that's pretty much it. So I would say that approach, like, simplified everything because we were trying what were we trying to do before time we were trying to like offer like multiple services so we were trying to um we were trying to do like multiple outreach methods um and it, it was just confusing like it would always break um so now it's just like streamlined simple focused and 
straight. So, boom. I love it, man. That's the thing, too. I think a lot of people complicate it too much and they're trying to do everything right. And then they don't really create that like simple system because, like you said, seven figures, very simple. Once you have that process dialed in, I know you guys are just scratching the surface of even what I showed you, right? And what you have in place now. So, that's one of the big things that I noticed is like really dialing it in one specific client, you know, solving one problem with one service, one offer, boom, that's really simple. And then having the process for each stage all the way to delivery, getting results. And then you, I seen you feed them into your, um, back into your marketing, which I want to talk about next, which is a pre-selling mechanism, right? So how did the pre-selling mechanism help you with your sales process? Cause I know you how you were doing sales <laughs> before. So how did the pre-selling mechanism really help you on your sales calls, your sales process, and just integrating that into the system? Yeah. The pre-selling mechanism. Absolutely love it. I actually had a call just last week um, with someone that came in from it from Yads and like halfway through the call, she was already a 10 out of 10 ready to go. And I'm like, slow down. Like, I still don't know if we can help you as yet. Well, let, let's figure that out first and then we can enroll you. So the pre-selling mechanism, like once, it, it only works once you take the scientific approach, which is knowing how your ideal client looks like. So that way you can plug that data into your pre-selling mechanism and literally pre-sell these clients before they even speak to you. So it's, it's a game changer. Obviously, you don't need it to get your agency or your consulting business off the ground, but it's going to help tenfold when you actually have it in place. So, mm. Yeah, man, that was a key thing in my process as well. And once I dialed that in, I was like one call closing like $20,000 contracts, $30,000 contracts. And uh, yeah, man, it was just like a game changer for me when I started like really like dialing it in because I used to use it in a different way, kind of like what everyone teaches you with this like traditional sales funnels. And then when we started, when I really started to break it down and like what I was doing on the call, talking to each client, what were they saying? What were the objections? And then taking that data, like you said, and putting it back into the pre-selling mechanism. That's what's having everything like flow through. And uh, yeah, man, just closing, you know, clients more like effortlessly. And um, I know another thing we talked about, which we talked about in the pre-selling mechanism is the proprietary method. So how has like integrating that proprietary method or even just dialing in your message with that one client, like how has that helped you even like just push more into the pipeline down the assembly line and really just optimize the process. So how is the proprietary method and just dialing in the message? How's that helped? Yeah, that's huge as well, because we, we live in an age where like, I would say it's like a hundred more agencies and consulting businesses like popping up every single day right? Everyone's literally offering the same service. It's either Facebook ads, Google ads, Snapchat, whatever it, whatever the platform is, YouTube, whatever it is. So with that proprietary method, what you do, you literally like peak their curiosity. And I didn't know about that like before I, I joined you guys, right? Because I was trying to, I was doing it just like everyone else, like trying to sell Facebook ads. And the thing with that is that the market is sophisticated now. Like, not saying it, it doesn't work, but it's a, there's a less chance of you like getting a meeting saying, hey, yeah, I'm offering Facebook ads. So with the proprietary method in place now, it piques their curiosity. It's like, um, hey, we can get you X result with XYZ system. Would you like to learn more? Like what's XYZ system? I, I definitely want to know what that system is because this other guy is offering me Facebook ads, <laughs> right? So that piques their curiosity and it pretty much opens like the pipe on the front end to drive in, of course, you know, more meetings, which drives in more enrollment, which AKA sales. So that's huge. I, I definitely like recommend like everyone have like, a, if, like if you don't have a proprietary method, then it really doesn't make any sense. <laughs> straight up yeah that's one of the things that um when i was going after when i was had even my agency even with um our current thing like i'm always understanding and keeping the pulse on like where the market is because what works today is not going to work three months from now six months from now so you need to come up with something that to differentiate yourself and there's something that you do differently i know especially you offering especially because a lot of people do like real estate agents facebook ads and but I've seen your system, even in the back end fulfillment of how it's optimized. And 
like even just taking like what you've done there and, and really turning that into a proprietary method, I bet you guys have helped a lot, even on the sales calls. Right. And, uh, another thing I want to talk about is cause I know you had, you said that you have like a, you have the sales rep. Now you have the team, the fulfillment team, and like, you're just basically working on the vision and all that stuff. So how has like building the team really helped you scale and really just like save you time and, and all the stuff that, that you've been able to integrate into the business by building a team. That's, that's literally it. You just said it time. Time is our most valuable resource. We can't, we can't buy it back. Right. If we could walk into a store and buy, like, let's just say 24 hours of time and we, we'd live in a different world, but we can't like once today is over, that's it. So having that team in place to really like optimize. So nowadays, like I literally, like, of course I have my morning rituals, but nowadays I'm looking at the business from a global standpoint and the different departments to really figure out what the bottleneck is to drive my focus in, you know, to that bottleneck and then get back out, analyze it again from that global standpoint and then fix whatever needs to be fixed. So with the team like running, it literally like operates. Like uh, at this point, it, it's operating without me. So say if I get hit by a bus like tomorrow, God forbid, then I would say the business is going to run for like the next six months, six to 12 months, honestly, which is what you want at the end of the day. Like you want something that's sustainable. So yeah, getting it off the ground, being in the trenches, that's key at first. But as it begins to grow, you have to like build that team and optimize your time. So mm. Yeah, hundred percent, man. And that's an interesting point. It's like the business runs with or without you, right? So you don't necessarily need to be there. Everything's good. The salesperson closes the deals. You have the leads coming in. You have the fulfillment team fulfilling. So yeah, that's awesome, man. And so I guess like what has been the most valuable part of the program? Because I know like we do a lot of like calls. You hop on the calls with me, and there's also like the community aspect of things and the mentorship. So like, what has been the most valuable? Thing or asset of the program that helped you get results or that you just find the most valuable for me personally then this this could be different for every single one you know of your your students but for me personally it's the first principles um like at the end of the day that's literally all i care about because i, I i've realized like on my journey i've realized that the tactics come from the principles there's no tactics without the principles, right? So for me, it's the first principles, like I said, figuring out your ideal client, the, the lab, like the, the lab for testing, like different ad copies and stuff like that before you really like scale them up. Like it's first principles for me. Yeah, man, that's interesting. Cause I think the one thing that I think we do that differentiates us from like a lot of people is like, I've been ruthlessly focused on the, timeless principles by using the first principles method to really understand and like break things down to their core constituent parts so that you can assemble them in any way. Because like you said, the platforms change. What we do on LinkedIn could be easily like one of our clients easily transferred that over to Instagram and made 60 grand in a week, you know? So like there's the principles, they, like you said, they don't change, but it's the, once you understand and you really embody them, then you're able to take those and apply them into multiple different facets of your business and, and everything, you know? So I think that's, that's an interesting point, man. And I, I really put emphasis on it, but once you really embodied it, um, I can see how you run your business. Right. So, um, and then, yeah, man, I guess the last question I have is like, what, uh, what, what like results have you gotten? I know you got to like 17 K a month now, but like, what has that really done for you in just like your business and just overall life in general? Like, what has that done for you? it's it's given me that peace of mind so that abundance mindset that's the biggest thing as well so like i'm not hopping on a call close this deal or else i can't pay the rent like i know for a fact like if a deal doesn't close or if my sales guy doesn't close or he had, he's having a bad week or a bad month it doesn't matter we have a solid client base and we have like i said we're literally bringing in 120 to 200 appointments per month and I have it all tracked I have the numbers to prove it right so we're just in this place of abundance right now it's like we can't lose it's only a matter of time before we get to 100 now granted 
it's a business we're go- we're going to take l's like it's it's impossible to not take the l's right they're gonna come and they come on a monthly basis but it really doesn't matter because we have it dialed in we got the principles dialed in we got the traffic dialed in we got the sales dialed in fulfillment dialed in so it doesn't matter it's gonna happen yeah you take uh, micro l's to hit the macro oh macro w you know yeah so uh yeah you don't even worry about those things and i guess like the very last thing that i want to ask is like because there's some people that are in our program right they're going through it or the ones that are on the fence that are looking at this comparing it looking at different things like what would you say to someone that's maybe on the fence or even part of the program that's going through it that maybe hasn't seen those like explosive growth yet what would you say to those people that are maybe on the fence or again in the program like what advice would you give them i'd say jump in as soon as possible like even if you don't have the finances, like figure out a way to, to get the finances and jump in and get to work because time, it's, it's it just goes back to time. It's a non-renewable resource, right? So figure it out, jump in and get to work as soon as you possibly can because two years from now, like when, when did we, when did I first meet you? 20, 2017? Uh, no, 2019. 20, 2019, yeah, 2019. What the heck am I saying? So literally like two years ago at at this point right so in two years you want to look back and be like yes i'm glad i made this decision because we're here now and we're gonna get to there point c or whatever wherever you're trying to get to so i would say just jump in like find a way to get in and just do it awesome man now i really appreciate you hopping on man and uh we'll get you on another one when you're uh, you're at 100k a month which is going to be <laughs> hopefully in 2021 this year so <laughs> yeah, yeah man yeah that's what we're shooting for awesome brother well, i really appreciate it and uh let's get some booms definitely <laughs>